Hi, my name is Eric Heitch. I'm the developer of Project R, and this is an instructional video to help you get started using the app. So what you're going to see is uh, the app running in the simulator on the left-hand side of your screen. And on the right-hand side, you're looking at a wall that a projector, an NEC projector, is going to be projecting on. And so we're going to control the, those projectors with this app, and you should be able to see um, as I make actions in the app, you should be able to see the results on the screen on the projector. So I'll start the app up. And as you can see, it starts off with no projectors in the app. So we need to add projectors to it in order to be able to control them. So there's two ways to add projectors. First, we hit the plus button. As you can see, we can add a projector manually or we can scan the Wi-Fi network. So first, I'll add manually. Now, the projector that's going to be displaying on the wall where that you can see, I happen to know is at 192.168.0.101. So I'm going to go to that IP address. And now when I hit add projector, it's first going to check to see if there is actually is a projector at that address. And if there is, then it will add it. Okay, so it did find one there, as we expected, and then it connects to it. After it connects to it, then it knows the information about the projector. So, as you could tell, it has a, a, a the projector has a name. It's in standby mode, uh, which means the lamp is not on, uh, and it's currently on input RGB1. Now, I'm going to go ahead and delete this projector because I want to show you how you can add multiple projectors at once. So, I will delete that projector. Now, the other way, which is the way that you probably will use, is to scan your Wi-Fi network. So I'll choose that. Now, when I hit Start Scanning, it's going to start pinging, looking on a particular port, 4352, all the way across your Wi-Fi network, to try to find projectors that support this PJ-Link protocol. And as you can tell, it's found two of them. Now, I happen to know that there's only two projectors on this network, so I can stop if I want to. You don't have to wait until it goes all the way to 100%. I can go ahead and cancel, and then I can go ahead and add these two projectors. So I'll add them. It's connecting to them, and then after it connects to them, then it knows what they are. And this is auditorium left and auditorium right. You are, happen are going to be seeing auditorium right. So now, one of the cool things about this app is that you can operate on multiple projectors at once, and that's what I want to show you. So I'll say select, and then select all, and I select both auditorium left and auditorium right, and now I'm going to turn both the projectors on. So I'll hit on. You may have heard the little beep that the projector made when it turned on. So now it's going into, as it's coming up, you should just start to be able to see it come up on the right-hand side of your screen. Now while it is coming up, I'm going to look at the detail screen for Auditorium Right. So as you can tell, uh, there are several pieces of information here. One is your connection, which shows your IP and your port, uh, the current connection state. The next one is the power status. Uh, it's currently in warm-up mode, which means it's still coming up. Uh, and you have controls over audio mute, video mute. You can also control the input from this screen for this one projector. And then there's information below here that's read-only information about the errors or warnings that the projector is putting out. How many hours the lamp, the, the lamp, the bulb, has been going. And then some information about the projector. It's made by NEC. There's the name of the projector. Now, another cool thing here is this supports pull to refresh. So if I want to update this information, I can just pull down and let it update. Now, as you, so as you can see, the projector came on. Now, what if I wanted to change inputs? This is probably the second most common thing that you would want to do. So I'm going to do it for both projectors at the same time. I'll select, 
just show you I, that clears all. Now I can select all. And the second thing, I'll hit the input button. Which input do I want to go to? Well, I want to be able to show you something on it, so I'm going to go to another input that actually has uh, input on it, which is network one. So I choose network one, I'll select, and there's the, the network setting screens for this projector. And as you can see, now it knows that both projectors are on network one. So I'm going to change back. So I'll say select, and they're already both selected. Change inputs, and now I'll go back to RGB1. Now, what are some other things that you might want to do? So the other one is audio mute. Now, I can't really show you this too well because there's no audio playing through these projectors. We actually have the audio going through a separate sound system. Now, the other thing that you might want to do is video mute. And that is when you want to just blank out the screen very quickly. So I'll do this and I'll turn on video mute. That blanks out the screen. Now I'll select them, turn video mute off. And it comes back on. Now, the last thing I might want to do is, is delete the projectors. And we've already seen how to do that. But now I want to show you that also things that you can do from the detail screen. So I can also do audio and video mute from the detail screen. Video muted, turn video mute off. I can also turn the projector off, we'll do that in a second, and I can also change the input from this screen. I'll go to uh, network one. and back to RGB1. And now finally I'll turn, I'll turn this projector off. So that's been a demo of, of Project R. I hope you like it. I've got ideas for features that I want to add in the future, and I hope that you find this app useful.